Welcome to the Cyber Kuranku podcast. Okay, bro. Welcome to the pod- podcast. Hello. Thank you. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello. My name is Akshay. I'm a flat And, earther. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so you have a page called uh, Flat Earth Kerala. Yes, Flat Earthers of Kerala. Ah, uh, Flat Earthers of Kerala. How many flat earthers of Kerala are there in your Telegram group and WhatsApp groups? We have two WhatsApp groups and a Telegram group. We have okay, more uh, than two hundred members in our Telegram group, and uh, both the WhatsApp groups are full. That means two fifty-seven members are there. Okay. So let me ask the obvious question first. Why do you believe the Earth is flat? Actually, when you step out of your home, what you see is a flat Earth. That's what makes me believe that the Earth is flat. Can you go into the like the what do you believe? Like there are multiple th- theories of flat Earth, right? Some believe in the biblical pa- flat Earth. Some believe in other theories. What theory do you believe in? Okay. Most of our members have their own theories of flat Earth. What do you believe in? What's your theory? I believe like. most of the american flat earthers believe in a flat earth with a dome and things like you know that's what oh. i believe so what about the moon the moon is situated inside the dome so so but on the sun and the moon like uh, globe in i mean spherical in shape actually we ha- we will have to see uh, how it moves inside the dome it almost shows that the sun and the moon both are almost like the earth only almost flat so do you, do you don't believe in gravity no we believe in density what's density density just like we all study in the school the things with more density will go down things with lower density will go up you say yes. we study density in school but we don't study flat earth in school but why do you believe in flat earth I believe that the school brainwashes us to believe that the Earth is in a globe shape, but we should actually see it for ourselves. We should actually search for ourselves. We should do our own research and see what's the reality. Why are they brainwashing us and lying to us? The globe Earth. Who are they? Uh, just like how kids these days say Illuminati, something like that. They have their own things to gain. They are capitalists. they want to make money they want to control all of us and they want to build their empire and establish their domination over the people all over the earth can you be more specific who are these they do you do you have any theories who do, who they are the main people of what i say they are nasa nasa okay they are uh, they are the people who are most efficient in brainwashing people on these things what uh, people these days they believe whatever nasa says so if nasa is lying to us also our astronauts are lying to us the yes. um, pilots are lying to us uh, and all of us paid actors so neil armstrong all these people are paid yes okay. so what about the, the indian space isro are they also lying isro isro uh-huh. yeah they are also lying the isro just like nasa is uh, it was formed after nasa so it follows the same procedures as nasa the the main uh, the main aim of isro is just to show that just like nasa india also has more knowledge and development in the field of science and technology the thing is that uh, india also have more paid actors and people who pretend as technical people and scientists why would they lie to us why don't they say the truth what do they gain from this actually the only lie they say is uh, actually there are many lies they are saying not only the, uh, the global theory there are more things they are saying to us just like the vaccine did okay, you take okay. the vaccine no uh, not yet how much do you expect you will have to pay for a vaccine i am not sure uh, i i don't know uh, it seems that so you will have you to pay that... more than 500 for one dose of a vaccine So you, you think this is a capitalist life? Yes. So what about COVID? You think uh, 
covid exist or does it not exist maybe covid is a small mild virus infection which can cause nothing to human but this pandemic is uh, 100% exaggerated and just scaring people i was actually in a telegram group uh, a conspiracy t- telegram group yeah, and, but even they are discouraging uh, discussions of flat earth theory why do you think that is they may be facing uh, difficulties in coming out from the indoctrination they have had about the global earth you think so yes how did you first uh, how did you become a flat earther like i was a very curious child in the school and my young age i always questioned everything just as that i questioned the global theory also i went out and uh, saw things by myself and i thought that global can never exist people cannot live inside a global earth and if you go to a beach okay. we can see as long as we can see uh, the earth is flat almost the only thing which is covering our vision okay. is the clouds and all there's nothing like a curve but if the ship goes further we can see that the uh, that uh, the mass sinks into the ocean that's because of the curvature of the earth right can you repeat so basically if a ship goes in a straight line it okay. slowly disappears right it doesn't become smaller so doesn't that prove the curvature of the earth no that's because it goes too far away from us that, that's why we can see oh, okay uh so just like the nasa says that there are many stars many galaxies and things uh, did you have a question why can't i see that you know not able to see all these things right have you ever question nasa i i haven't question i i don't think about nasa that much okay you should be thinking okay i'll start thinking what about lunar eclipse why does that ha- happen uh, one of our group member has made a video about lunar eclipse in his youtube channel and he says that actually i haven't done research about lunar eclipse on my own he says that that's a cgi done by nasa and all uh, how do uh, uh, what do you mean uh, the lunar eclipse is a cgi because like lunar ex- eclipse uh, has been happening for like uh, long before nasa existed right like uh, in ancient india also lunar eclipse ha- happened and uh, in ancient societies also lunar eclipse happened uh, then how how can cgi happen if there was no computers actually uh, i don't have much proofs that prove that there was lunar eclipse in the ancient times oh okay so what about solar eclipse is it also a, a psyop by the nasa the sun and the moon uh, moves in inside an, inside an orbit through an orbit inside the dome okay the solar eclipse happens when moon overlaps sun uh so w- what about antarctica like what's the flat earth consensus on antarctica like what is antarctica antarctica is like a border for the flat earth okay so what happens if a, if a person uh goes over the flat earth like what if he falls down like what's at the tip actually we had debated about this in our whatsapp group and the most convincing theory from one of our friends was that when we reach the edge of the flat earth we start from the opposite side again so is there like a wormhole or something like that have you played that snake game in the nokia phone yes i have what happens when the snake moves upwards over the phone it starts from the downside again right what that's a that's a game right some mysterious things are happening maybe because of god's power that makes uh, things like that so you are a happen. believer yes uh, like what god do you believe in like uh, do you believe uh, are you a christian are you a muslim or a hindu actually for a flat earth uh, the religion doesn't matter i am a hindu but among us there are muslims christians and people of all religions 
uh, because uh, i mean i have researched this stuff before the interview and i saw many people quoting like bible verses and quran verses but i don't think there's like a, a theory for like uh, like a hindu theory like uh, i don't think uh, our epics or something like that mentions a uh, flat earth at all actually actually that's true but we have hindu members also all around the world there are yes, so, uh, that's the question i'm asking like how can both be true like how can you believe in a force uh, that exists in a non flat world and also believe in a flat earth do you understand what i'm saying okay uh, religion is like my perspective flat earth is my belief or flat earth is my perspective and religion is my belief ah okay just like okay. the islamic feminists say ah okay okay i understood i understood very clearly okay well, what about the other planets in our solar system what about mars what about venus they are like ornaments for the sky inside the dome inside the dome okay so what about elon musk he is planning to go to mars is he also lying who is elon musk he is currently the third richest person in the earth yeah true he is one of the few, few people who gets benefits by lying about the global i mean i mean i i know he lies about a lot of things but i don't think he is lying about the global he haven't actually said that the earth is globe but he is using the belief of millions of people that the earth is globe to earn money like okay. in the space x and all so so uh, why is the why is in flat earth uh, more widely accepted why is it, why does it remain a very fringe theory even among conspiracy theorists that's because in nasa they are so powerful they control all the governments they have influenced and convinced all the governments around the world okay. you say that- Oh, if oh, any oh, government oh. is going to accept the flat earth theory in the future in the near future that's going to be the brazil government i have seen many impressive things they have done oh, sorry, like government brazil government okay ah uh, sure uh, their performance were very impressive like uh, what the president told about the vaccine and about the mask and all <laughs> didn't he also get the corona virus bolsonaro yes that's how the who nasa and all threatens you to believe these things actually exist okay so so what other conspiracies do you believe in like other than flat earth uh, do you believe in the lizard people theory do you believe in the ancient aliens theory or anything like that i believe in the ancient aliens theory Okay so how did the aliens come past the dome Actually these things aliens actually exist among us uh, among the humans Yeah but where did they come from they had to come from somewhere right how uh, were their planet also flat all the planets are flat flat Okay maybe another world another planet with dome just like earth Okay how did they get out of the dome you i mean i think the dome is unbreakable right yes how, how could they have entered if your Actually, theory is the things that we see in the ancient world almost prove that some some civilizations other than human civilization have entered the earth so some aliens should have entered the earth for sure and If you ask how they entered in through the dome I will have to say that maybe they had the technology to break the dome or open the dome or something Okay I have just one question how many okay. people are lying to us like I mean why would everybody lie like you can also become a scientist right like if you go and study tomorrow and become a scientist would you also start lying the science that you say that you are saying now the science that the school and the universities teach are actually lies it's actually brainwashing or indoctrination whatever you can say okay they indoctrinate me or brainwash me 
to say these lies to you people so so the pl- pi- pilots and stuff they do know that we are in a pl- flat earth right there are several arguments about that uh, some people say that the the windows of the aeroplane were designed in a special way that makes us see the flat earth with a curve okay apparently we see globe earth okay so so even if you go in a flight and see for yourself flat earthers wouldn't believe that my friends in the flat earthers group uh, say that the windows of the aeroplane are designed in a special way uh, so that we see the flat things in a with a curve if you look at the horizon through horizon through the windows of the aeroplane you will all, you will see a slight curve which makes you believe that the earth is globe but actually that's because of the speciality of the window so these windows are funded by the nasa these windows these aeroplanes are all made by people who are under the nasa actually there's there are actually uh, parameters or uh, things that they should follow before making aircrafts okay they say uh, that you so should make aircrafts with this material the window should be of this material and they unknowingly have- support uh, the global theory by following all these measures okay so do do you watch tamil movies yes i do but not much have you seen uh, surya ray potter starring surya yes i have so was surya lying to us surya wasn't knowingly lying to us but surya was also a person just like us who was indoctrinated or brainwashed to believe all these things i think i i don't i don't even know i planned many questions but i don't know i can't ask much so uh, this is my final question to you okay are you a troll that was offensive why i i, i genuinely ask from the because i i genuinely ask you are you a troll you know we people try to hard to form our own theories to know the truth i have traveled many kilometers just to make a video which i will be releasing today or tomorrow about the sunset and sunrise to explain to people and how, we don't how actually travel? i traveled to i traveled in my car but i couldn't travel that far because of the lockdown and all 30 to 50 kilometers i have, I have traveled just chase okay. this out we okay. people actually have to try really hard to convince you all but if you okay. if i ask you something about the science you believe in you will just quote nasa or any other agencies we don't have such agencies we try really hard and you people say you are being sarcastic you are trolling you are satire that's really offensive <laughs> i i i'm sorry if i offended you okay it's okay okay so i think uh, that answers my questions um, okay so we'll uh, end this podcast thank you for coming thank you for agreeing to this thank you for talking to me thank you for okay. providing content it was a good talk yeah the uh, the talk was really good i really enjoy, enjoyed talking to you i think i educated you or enlightened you i'm i'm yet to be enlightened okay we have time <laughs> okay okay so thank you and uh, with that uh, i am ending the podcast